I want to talk to you about my favorite hiking boot, the Moab 2 Mid Waterproof. Uh, this boot is awesome and I think you're going to love it as well. Um, it's known for its out of the box comfort, so as soon as you put your foot in it, you're going to get that Merrill Wow moment and just want to go hit the trails. So let's talk about what makes it so great. When we look at the outsole of this boot, we've got a Vibram outsole, so it's super grippy, super durable. So when you're hitting the trails, they're wet, they're muddy, you're going to be gripping just fine and it's going to last you for years. Uh, in the midsole here, we have our uh, Merrill Air Cushion right under the heel. So it's essentially a little cutout, like if you took a, an ice cream scoop right to the foam and put another layer right over it, it creates a little trampoline effect for that heel. Feels amazing right underfoot. Getting into the, the upper here, uh, we've got a nice performance suede that's going to be really durable. It's going to shed dirt, clean up nice. Uh, and we also have this silicone stability band here that wraps around both sides of the foot. So when you've got a light to medium pack, uh, you're going to be supported in that boot. It features our M Select Dry waterproof membrane, which is both breathable and waterproof. So even though this boot looks really meshy, it allows your foot to sweat and that sweat will evaporate out of the boot, but it does not allow water into the boot. This boot features our typical Merrill fit, which is going to be snug in the heel, uh, precise over this instep, and really roomy in that toe box. So it's an anatomical fit and it's comfortable right out of the box, so you can gear up and hit the trail today. Hello, I'm Patrick, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about Holtzbrook and the Olmeik hatchet. Holtzbrook's axe heads are hand-forged at the facility located just outside of Norrköping in southern Sweden, which has been in operation since 1697. Each head is struck around 70 times to create the right shape and density. The head is made of Swedish carbon steel and has a 1 inch or 2.5 centimeter hardened and tempered zone with a hardness of 55 Rockwell C, which creates a durable and sharp edge even after many sharpenings. The American hickory handle is hand sanded and oiled with several coats of linseed to condition and protect the wood. The Holtzbrook All Mic is our all purpose hatchet and our best seller. It is intended for tasks such as making kindling, doing light clearing, and for any number of backcountry or landscaping jobs. It is ideal for carrying in your pack or being worn on a belt. This lightweight item has an axe head weight of 1 pound or 450 grams and a total weight of 1.75 pounds or 795 grams and a handle length of 16 inches or 37.5 centimeters. Information about maintenance, rehandling, sharpening, and even about vintage Holtzbrook axes can be found at holtzbrook1697.se. Replacement handles and sheaths are also available. Thank you. A lightweight, easy to carry lantern is a great idea. A lightweight lantern that's bright enough to lighten up your entire campsite and run for over 23 hours. Well, that's a Streamlight idea. And as always, Streamlight's thought of everything. It has a hook so you can hang it where you need it, even hang it upside down. It's water resistant and you can use it to signal for help. Set it to the brightness you need. The siege will keep on shining through just about anything. It's from Streamlight. What items can be found in the SurviveWear Compact First Aid Kit? The kit comes with 100 different items and I'm quickly going to give you a run through of exactly what those items are. Starting on the left we've got hypoallergenic tape. We've got 20 standard adhesive bandages. Quality 6 inch trauma shears. Tweezers two splinter probes, 
a CPR kit and this contains a one-way mask, gloves, a non-alcoholic wipe and also instructions for child and baby CPR as well as adult CPR. We've got a few safety pins over here and in the middle, which is the utility pocket, add whatever you want there. We've included an emergency whistle, a basic tourniquet, 10 Q-tips. Moving to the right, you've got itemized list of all of the supplies inside. In the pressure bandage sleeve, you've got a pressure bandage and a conforming bandage. In the skin cleaning wipe section, you've got this baggie. It contains three alcohol wipes, three sting relief wipes and three non-alcoholic wet wipes. In this section over here, you've got iPads and a cotton gauze swab. In the wound closures, we've got a lot of different adhesive bandages as well as strip wound closures. And right at the back, you've got your triangular bandage as well as an emergency blanket. In the front, you've got these baggies made for your personal medication that each person has and since each person is unique. And that's what's included. I've um, created a detailed list of what you can find in each of the Labinet bags. Um, since there are a few of each item in these bags.